Okay, so today we're doing a cool little one here. Um, a lot of people have asked me about this one. It's actually very, very simple. Uh, it's a big hit. A lot of people are confused when you tell them what you're doing. And then they taste it and they want more. So This is uh, bacon wrapped cherries. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're just taking uh, two pounds of bacon. We slice it up into three sections and then uh, from there we wrap a maraschino cherry now it's Christmas time so I'm doing red and green normally I just do red but being Christmas we're gonna do red and green um, yeah it's very simple cut these into a third take a slice we wrap the cherry on it uh, in it put the toothpick through put it on the Pan, you can do these in the oven. Uh, I recommend doing them around 300 degrees in an oven. Um, I'm actually going to fire up the smoker. I've got some uh, maple pellets uh, in it already. So we're going to smoke these at about 275. Um, just because you get a little better smoke. And yeah, we're going to smoke them with maple for at 275 for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. If you do them in an oven at 300 to 350, they only take about half an hour, so we'll get her started here. So we just cut our thirds here. I don't recommend using thick sliced bacon. Uh, and try to find bacon that's fairly well held together. And what I mean by that is that it's not all stringy. When it's all stringy, it makes it very, very hard. Um, to actually do this project. Uh, the last batch I did, I had uh, a pound of bacon here that was left over and it was uh, thick sliced and it it's just it's very hard to, uh, to work with. And if it's too fatty, I mean I know bacon's fatty, but if it's too fatty I find it uh, it's very striated I guess is the word and it's it just it makes it hard to wrap and put a toothpick through with it and falling apart all the time. So all we're gonna do here is get these cut into a third, a third, a third. And then we basically take a piece of bacon, grab a maraschino cherry, put that in there. Put a toothpick through it. And that's it. Put that over here. And we just continue until we're completely done. So I won't bore you guys with all of that. I'll do a couple here and then uh, I'll show you the uh, tray when it's full. And then I'll show you the process of uh, actually putting them on the smoker. Alright, so stay tuned. All right, so 15 minutes later, here's what we have. So I got the smoker fired up there and just coming up to temperature. I'll uh, pause the video here and uh, go set these up out there so you can see how that's going to go. Back in a minute. Okay, so we've got our uh, smoker going here. We've got our maple pellets. We're uh, going to put some more in the hopper. Good to go. We got her set to 275. We're almost up the temp there now. We're at uh, 220. Got another five minutes, so that'll be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and, and put these on anyways. Just make sure you guys are in the shot. And grab my flashlight here. Welcome to Canadian winter, where it's dark at four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so we're smoking with maple here. Got our tray all set. Put her down here at the end. Let's do it this way. You can 
see the smoke coming out. So yeah, we'll get those going. Uh, 275, again, 45 minutes to an hour probably uh, for these. Uh, should do it. Um, but yeah, we'll check on them here in a little bit. Okay, so we are just over an hour in. And here's what we have. So beautiful. Bacon wrapped cherries. Anyway, we will get these off the grill and uh, bring them inside and give you a short video on that inside so you can see them up close. Be right back. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this video. You can see the finished product here in this photo. Um, yeah, just figured I'd uh, put this one together and get it up on the on the page. I'm sure with all of us being shut in right now and uh, quarantined and self-isolating, um, one thing we can do is uh, we can watch some YouTube and uh, we can make recipes. We're at home, so why not? This is an easy one. Um, if you really want to speed up the time to make these, uh, you can actually wrap these and then just put them in the microwave too for about a minute to a minute and a half. Just keep an eye on the bacon. Um, doesn't taste quite as good, I don't think, but uh, definitely gives you that nice sweet and salty combo. Um, like I said, a lot of people look at these things and they go, what the heck is that? But then they taste it and uh, you can't keep them on a plate. So... Although we can't get together for big groups and gatherings right now, um, we certainly could uh, take a pound of bacon and some maraschino cherries and make some of these for ourselves and for our kids. So enjoy. Um, we're going to post maybe another barbecue video this week. A couple of different recipes I got going on. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, click on the notification, and uh, we'll keep bringing you some content. Thanks.